Welcome to page five of Excel packet number six. On this page, we will run the vertical line test to determine if a relation is a function. Our I can statement says, I can determine if a graph represents a function. In number one, we're given a horizontal line. Here are your input values, and of course, your Y values are your output values. We can test to see if every input value has only one output value by dropping a vertical line, as we discussed before. No matter where you drop a vertical line, along this given graph, you will only strike the line once. So that implies that every input value, such as positive five, has only one output value, and in this case, it's four. So yes, this given graph is indeed a function. But take a look at number two. Once again, your input x values are here and the output are on your y axis. Take a look at an x value of four. We see it has an output value of positive two and then an output value of negative two. If we drop a vertical line there, it strikes the parabola twice. So we know this fails the vertical line test. And no, this is not a function. So take a look at the graphs you've been given on this page and run the vertical line test on each. If it passes the test, then yes, indeed, it is a function. If it fails, then answer no. Please pause your video now and complete the remaining problems on this page. When you're ready, turn the video back on and check your work. For number three, no matter where you decide to drop that vertical line, it only strikes the graph of the absolute value function once. So, yes, this is a function. The same is true for number four. No matter where you drop a vertical line on that parabola, it only strikes the graph of the parabola once. So, yes, this is a function. However, for number five, if you drop a vertical line, it continually strikes the graph of that line and it fails the function test. The same is true for number six. If you drop a vertical line through the given graph, you see it strikes it in two places, meaning there are two output values for the one input value. So no, this is not a function. The line given in number three passes the vertical line test. So the answer here is yes, that is a function. In that case, it's a linear function. And finally, if we drop a vertical line here, for example, you can see that we have two output values for the one input value. So this fails the test. No, this is not a function. Please check your work. This concludes page five.